the dominant a position of the four medhebs is that singing is permissible, the drum, the duf drum is permissible, the, um, some of them permit the flute also, generally stringed instruments, the khilaf is weak on that, so generally the stringed instruments have been prohibited, and it relates to the effect that the stringed instruments, because the stringed instruments are actually far more powerful in terms of their effect on the soul than uh, the percussion instruments. Piano, for instance, is really a percussion instrument, but the stringed instruments, uh, like the oud and, and uh, sitar and guitar and all these different instruments, they, they can be very dangerous uh, and, and people are very profoundly affected by them. So that's, that is generally where the ulama went in terms of those prohibitions. Um, and you'll get some that say, like, you know, Ibn Hazm wa Naghmat al Udi fir Ahyani, Qadu Tiziru Athar al Ahzani. You know, that, like, uh, the tunes of the Ud every once in a while will remove depression and get rid of. So, so, so he says, Wadzim ala tahrimi ayi jazmi, wad hazmu ala tatba ibn hazmi. So, but consider them not permissible and don't follow Ibn Hazm. فَقَدْ أُبِيحَتْ عَنْدُهُ الْأَوْتَارُ وَالْعُودُ وَالْطَمْبُورُ وَالْمِزْمَارُ Because he permitted all these musical instruments. The Andalusians, like I said, tended to uh, permit that. And, and my personal belief is that in uh, European uh, and Western Islam generally, uh, that Sheikh Abdullah bin Bayez said, do not bring an Islam with that prohibition uh, as introducing people to Islam. That people come into Islam with their instruments and all these things and then wean people off uh, diversion and wasting their time because Islam is a religion uh, where time is very precious and th those types of things uh, are really diversionary things. Right? So anyway, I, I spent a little more time than, uh, but I wanted to uh, just cover that. So go ahead.